What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ryan with the X. And today, bro, I just kind of want to vent, have a little dialogue or a conversation about this new Super Mario movie. All right. The trailer dropped like, I think, two days ago or so, depending on, you know what I'm saying, when this video comes out or whatnot. But trailer came out. In my opinion, and I think in some other people's opinion, it was looking gas, bro. I'm going to be honest. Like, the. I know a lot of people were memeing about the cast, like the voice cast list originally when it came out however long ago. But me personally, I was like, I'm intrigued to see where this goes. I, did, I didn't assume the worst. I was just like, I'm gonna see this, if not only for curiosity, which is partly also probably why they even cast the cast the way that they did. Cause some people are just gonna be like, wait, these people are in this movie, I gotta see it. That's, that's one of the main reasons why they don't get voice actors and whatnot. They get celebrities instead, which kind of sucks for VAs, you know what I'm saying, who really do VA character acting and whatnot for real. But what I want to talk about is everybody complaining about the Chris Pratt voice. Now, let this be known that I am not sold on the Chris Pratt voice. I did not hear him and was like, oh, yeah, that's Mario. <laughs> like, I wasn't just like, oh, yeah, that's that's the plumber for sure. Like, nah, I heard it and I was like, OK, like, you know, what I'm saying? I was like, OK, for me anyway, it didn't sound that crazy. It didn't sound that bad. It didn't. I could kind of hear he was going for that, like, New Yorker kind of, you know what I'm saying? And, and I didn't think it was that bad. I didn't think it was a bad take on doing a Mario voice for me personally. The real issue for a lot of people is when the French dub, a lot of people heard and saw the French dub for Mario, and it sounds like a one-to-one -one recreation of what we know Mario to kind of sound like in the games. And so now people are like, oh, bro, Chris Pratt's voice is going to suck. Um, I'm listening to the movie in French, bro. This is this is a real Mario. This is, how, this is my Mario, whatever. Like, you feel me? Look, bro, y'all are a little bit dramatic. I'm sorry. I completely disagree that it would have been better if they got a one-to-one, -one, like, having him sound exactly as he does in the game, bro. I think that would have been a terrible idea, if I'm being honest. I think it would have been a terrible, terrible idea for him. I think it would have been a terrible idea for Toad. I think it would have been a terrible idea for for maybe Kamek a little bit. Like, but point is, bro, a lot of these characters, they don't have voices for speaking. They have voices for how should I put it? Like emoting or characterization kind of. Like it is hard to explain, but Mario does Mario like with phrases. Like his voice can sound the way it does him told peach and you know what i'm saying like because most of the time they're not like speaking in any long form sense throughout any of the games for real bro and even in like the uh the old super mario uh show where it had the live action part and then the cartoon part that man did not sound nothing like mario sounds in the game and some people are like oh well they could, at least could have made him sound like that it sounds like that's what chris pratt was going for now, whether he succeeded or not may be another thing, but it did sound like that's what he was kind of going for, just a more New York kind of whatever, because that's how Mario sounded in the Super Mario Super Show, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, him and Luigi just sounded like New York kind of plumber dudes, you feel me? Like, and Mario had a deepish kind of, like, a deeper kind of voice. Chris Pratt's voice is a little bit higher and a little, like, but I, I could hear in the little lines that we got the kind of tonality that he going for or whatever. And also, it's like... Did you want the accent to be super thick? Like, was he supposed to be like, ah, we going on our way to the Mushroom Kingdom? Like, what? <laughs> like, bro, that sounds goofy, bro. Like, I don't think people realize how goofy these characters' voices are and how grating some of them would potentially become if they were like that for the entire length of, like, an hour-plus movie. I've even I've seen some people saying like, oh, you've never seen him uh, do the promotional skits and uh, content. The, uh, I think his name is Mar. I don't want to I don't want to mess up his name. I'm not gonna say it. I'll probably just put it up on the screen or something. But like the original voice actor for Mario, you see what I'm saying? He's done promotional stuff before, and it sounds really good. It's like, dog, I promise you, it's not an hour long promotional stuff. There's there's no way he's done like, and it went over well with the crowd, bro. I, I just. I don't know, like, and even then, like, say, for example, Toad, Keegan Michael Key does a, I think he did a great job kind of like towing the line of sounding like Toad could sound, but not being annoying, bro. Toad in like the Super Mario Super Show and even in like the games, bro, he, 
bro i don't i bro i kid you not uh self deletion if he sounded like that through a whole hour plus film dog i don't like no bro even luigi to a certain extent like they they have really like over eccentric voices because most of the time they're just doing exclamatory phrases and and stuff like that throughout the games bro i really think people are tripping asking for like a one-to-one -one creation of how mario sounds like for this movie i don't know i i think personally compared to the last super mario movie we got we should just be grateful it even look like we didn't have an ugly sonic situation we like bro it looks good i and, and i don't know if it's going to be like super crazy great or nothing but even if it's just like serviceable that is a large step in the right direction for video game movies in general like i know people are on this wave of like we gotta be super 100 accurate to the source and da -da -da. like it does help to be accurate to the source material for sure and use that as a way to stay grounded to a certain extent to what people know and love about a property but man i i, I think y'all like like let's let's give it a second bro the chris press said like a couple lines bro <laughs> And they weren't like really good lines to really get a feel for how he was going to be, you know what I'm saying, attacking this character for real. But I don't know. Personally, I'm I'm kind of excited for it. I'm definitely going to see it with the gang, with the boys. Um, I think y'all should see it too. I think everybody needs to calm down on this. It's not 100% accurate. I think it's just doing a little bit too much. But I and I also think it's a it's just a weird place to I think also try to do the thing where people like ad, are advocating for VAs instead of celebrity voice actors. While I do think that is an important cause though, to be honest, because VAs are very underrated in how. You know what I'm saying? Talented and important they are to animation and, and their industry. But with that being said, let me know how y'all feel in the comments down below. Subscribe, leave a like, help me in the algorithm. Like I said, I'm, I'm excited for the movie. And uh, let me know if you're excited, if, how you feel about the Chris Pratt voice. How you feel about the Jack Black voice? I think you went crazy. But uh, yeah, man, and I'll see y'all next time, bro. I'm out. I just play with the cards that I'm dealt A lot of missed calls, rather talk to myself Bro like the bat, he keep tool on his belt Rockin' that fur, he get two in the pelt That's just how niggas want to act in the zoo Can't no one tell if it's facts or it's fool Soldier a lot, now he back with the troops Hoes right in plastic, been actin' brand new